hello friends my name is sharad and today in this video we are going to learn how, how to configure the rc log server uh, which will be act as a centralized logging server the all machines all the client machines will send the their logs into the centralized logging server uh, which will be known as a rc log server okay and these client also have a rc log packages all right so <clears throat> right now uh, we are doing this practical in the centos and the version of the centos is 6.5 and the architecture of operating system is x86 64 that is 64 bit okay so here we have okay first of all let's uh, by default uh, in the machine in the centos or the red hat base or the red hat enterprise linux we have by default uh, rc rc log version 5 but we are going to install the new version that is uh, rc log 7.6 so first of all check which version you have in your system rc log rc log d hyphen v it will show you the what exactly the version you have or you can use rpm hyphen qa command to find out which version of the package you have in your system this is rc log rc log 5.8 dot 10 hyphen 8 okay so first of all we will upgrade this Uh, rc log version rc log uh, package we are uh, we will upgrade and uh, let me tell you something more about uh, this system which i am using it uh, it has ac linux enabled and we can find out with the command cat enforce it will show you enforcing mode or otherwise you can go and simply find out the file it will show you enforcing but it is good idea to check with this command because might be possible you have edited this line and you haven't started the system or somebody else has not started the restarted the system and it will show you in the uh, whatever the mode it was previously so to get the information of what uh, ac linux what is the status of the ac linux so always use the get enforce command okay it is right now enforcing mode uh, we are not going to disable it in this practical and uh, let's check out if ip tables uh, okay this is a by default ip tables which comes uh, when you install the fresh uh, centos or red hat okay red hat 6 or centos 6 so now first of all uh, we will get the information of uh, the repository from which we are going to install rc log version 7.6 so i have already opened the website link and the website link is rclog.com hyphen rhl centos hyphen r t m s okay so this is the link uh, i will also paste this link in the description of this video so right now uh, at the time of creating this video uh, we have uh, four links here v8 devil for v7 devil v7 stable v5 stable so we will all always select uh, we, i suggest you to always select the stable version okay so uh, what is the repository file here you just i i read this line and uh, i found out this is the actually link in which they are stating about the repository so i don't want to ho the complete file if you want to use it you can use it but uh, i need only this portion that is uh, rc log v7 devil and uh, rc log v7 stable okay the only this line i will copy it and uh, i have, have copied it okay and i will use this uh, repository this yum client configuration in the rc log server which we are configuring right now create a new file inside the yum.repos.d and the path is slash etc yum. 
repos.d and uh, here is a no the few files are there so we will create a new file called rcslog.repo and we will paste the content here of the yum client configuration content okay and save and uh, now we are updating our rcslog I will not advise you to go with the yum update the reason is if you only use the yum update command there are the other packages which will be which can be updated there are other packages which can be uh, updated okay which can be upgraded also okay now for example kernel uh, I will just let uh, let's see this output it is taking time okay so till it resolve i will show you what exactly this is a centralized server centralized logging server and it will have our syslog package and the client machine will send all its log to centralized logging server okay uh, similarly there are other clients we can so let's play something uh -huh. and uh, okay so doing some stuffs funny stuffs okay this client 2 also uh, sent all the logs to this centralized logging server and the client 1 all right i think it is very small so it can't be visible on the screen Doo -doo. okay okay leave it i think it is done see here so when you use only yum update command so other packages uh, will also be there and they want to be updated okay so uh, we do not want to do it so i'm pressing n now and i particularly target the rcs log yum update rcs log wait 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 first of all let me show you something uh, we already have a rcslog version right and this configuration is uh, configuration file located at etc okay there's a lots of uh, commented lines hash 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 lines so let me make it short and easy to read i will use egrep command egrep hyphen v <coughs> cap sign then hash it will remove all the lines which is started with hash and all the blank lines okay this means start this means end so in between there's nothing right it is a blank line correct and this is start and this is a hash so this these lines which has been started it will be not shown in the output it is not going to be permanently edited here okay I use this. let me clear for make it more readable so after hitting this command what we have found this you can see the configuration it is mode load amx socks it has been written like that okay this is the actually configuration all right and uh, let's do one thing take a backup of it in case uh, something goes wrong while updating the package original v52 original version 5 it looks good now okay uh, i have taken the backup so that if something goes uh, something goes bad or any problem we find while doing the package update so we can revert back the settings 
if anything has been modified at that time okay uh, now we will run the command yum update rcslog and we will update the package all right so it is using some lib logging libgt libstr okay fine press yes now it is installing the package of rcslog new version 7.6 the stable version always suggest you to use stable version don't use beta alpha anything okay that is only for testing purpose okay and uh, all right just run the command once again rcslog d hyphen v it is showing 7.60 and uh, let's check the actual package name okay 7610 this is what it is installed okay one more time shift page up okay from the keyboard i am using shift page up so it is moving up scrolling up the page okay yeah this is now shift page down it will come down like this and press space bar to come down completely here now in the terminal uh, we have seen our sys log t r sys log t hyphen v 7.6.0 version successfully updated all right now once again check the file has it been updated so best idea is if you want to check any uh, file has been updated or not so let's see etc rc slog any modification has been done or what all right 21 march 2 okay it is not as per the record it is not showing anything but might be possible it has been changed rc slog dot com okay again i will use the grab I will call it from last time I used the egrep command, so I will use exclamation mark egrep. Okay. So there are some changes we have found right here. This is not looking as we have seen earlier. Let's go back page up. No, no, we already have a file there, so we can use it right. Uh, this is a file after update etcrcslog.com and uh, this is something i have written here like yeah see here there is a difference of writing so this is the new version upward one this one okay now oh sorry for wrong command so let's check out the new configuration here module load uh, mxsoc and i'm imkg log so what we are going to do now now we will take also its backup because this is a new parameters it has a new parameters and it is rcslog.com so you can name it anything else or for my safety reason i'm using origin dot v7 all right and uh, etc rcslog dot com now first of all we will enable the udp port udp port 514 and we have removed the two lines module bracket load equal to i am udp bracket close then the, there is a next line there in port bracket type equal to i am udp port 514 if you want to change it this port number you can do it but as per this practical only keep it as a 514 because we have to do some ac linux uh, command to use it but straight forward to this video just keep it as a 514 by default all right okay done now we have done small changes that is only we have opened the udp port now we will add the template here and 
oh i did it very fastly right i opened it press shift g it moved to the last line press o of the key to insert but move to the next line cursor will be moved to the next line and i have some template already ready and i will use it so to save the time uh, here i will also paste uh, this uh, information in the link so don't get worry Uh, here is a template name tmpl auth and this is another template in tmpl msh and uh, as per my configuration i have uh, give the directory i have created new directory rcslog custom means the all the logs will go inside the rcslog underscore custom and uh, the new host name directory will also be created and uh, the program names and dot log like this this is architect and this is the architecture of the and the log which will be created like this inside and in the template message uh, in the sorry in the template the tmpl message uh, i have included asterisk info mail none auth brief none chrome none none so you can see here all the information above also chrome is your var log chrome mail log is your var log mail log like this you can edit and uh, add in the template and auth brief i have added is the template i think it, it should be access log or let's see okay auth brief yeah this is secure here in some operating system it shows as a access also might be <coughs> okay so these are the two templates i have added and uh, let's save it and exit that's it okay find now the rcs log configuration editing part is done we and uh, we have let's start the rcs log server it is say in it dot t rcs log restart okay one more time now check out uh, Okay, this is a UDB server, so net state UANP, net state hyphen UANP grab, giving pipe sign before, and uh, RCS log. Will it show? Yes, and it is listing on 514, but we have uh, SLinux enable, which can give you some trouble as well. Uh, let's see if it is required or not. Mm, Word log. Let's have LHRT. Have you seen that? I haven't created it automatically. Get created this log, this sorry, this directory. Okay, I just restarted the service and it automatically get created. Otherwise, you can also create twenty one fourteen. 2116 okay while create uh, while uh, creating this video in this uh, new rcs log underscore custom file no, sorry directory get created because it has been written in etc rcs log dot com file here and uh, i restarted the service so that is the reason it has been created right now we are in the var log let's check is there any messages from rcslog version not yet i think all is good okay so mm -hmm. uh, it seems there is no problem here but ip tables uh, yeah okay so there is no port uh, IP 514 is not allowed here you can see and uh, we are going to allow the IP table first of all uh, hi uh, so okay go to <coughs> CD slash etc sysconfig and open the file IP tables 
and uh, before any reject uh, column of the input before any reject action or for the input before we have to use this so i will use it at at the starting that would be good okay and i have written hyphen a input hyphen m state hyphen f state new hyphen m udp hyphen p udp destination port hyphen hyphen d port 514 j accept so this ip to table rule we will add it in the etc sys config ip tables file okay now restart the ip tables it is in dot day ip tables okay done now check the ip tables 514 514 yeah this is the 514 here okay and for the udp port now uh, up to this part we have done and let's see mm, we have to find some client here so this is i already have a client sudo su hyphen l okay so now we are going to add our client which will send all logs to our rcs log so we are doing this practically in the virtual box actually this is our rcs log sent to us rcs log server centralized logging server and this ubuntu uh, it also has rcs log by default and this is my system so it is better to use uh, terminal 101 is the ip address i will access it ssh my name username 192.168.56.101 i believe yes and giving the password here we go so it has the ip 101 and let's see if this ip can ping it to my rcs log server 103 192.168.56.103. Yes, we have to check it all this stuff before. Yeah, it is working here. All right, now. Mm hmm. Get it. See rcslog.conf. Let me steal something here. This line only. <coughs> okay, now. this is client actually this ubuntu i am taking as a client you can use it in other operating system also which have rcslog.conf file which has those rcslog packages here in inside the system and uh, i have right now ubuntu so this is a client for rcslog now add it sudo vi etc does it has vim yeah it has vim so i will prefer to use vim here sudo vim etc rcslog.conf okay go to last line and i will give some command to a client for say 1 1 3 This is our syslog server. Good to use the comment because uh, it is easy to read and what the configuration you have done. So here we are using in the last line. <coughs> sorry, asterisk dot asterisk. At the rate, remove this one. At the rate, at the rate only single one. Remote host is one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot. One six one. Yeah, this is fifty six dot one o three. Okay, so here we have the configuration. This is the port number. Sorry, this is the IP address and this is the port number five one four. Okay, now in the client machine, we start the. 
RCS log service then let's see have we got anything or not <coughs> going to the R RCS log server CD var log CD RCS log custom yes we have got this we have got ubuntu host name and uh, the client machine host name is ubuntu all right so this local host is the itself rcs log server and uh, just move to the ubuntu and all right we have some files here log files cd dot log not has just started <coughs> logging let's see which line okay you now we i'm using the client machine here cd war tail war log and sudo okay i have to go cd war log mm -hmm. okay for the sudo access uh, they have logged so okay Log. so for sudo they have uh, <coughs> filtered it into the sudo dot log <coughs> sorry so, uh, for filter it to the sudo dot log and uh, there's a different rcs log d kernel dot log so let's find out where is the in which log it has the sudo information <coughs> auth dot log has the sudo information and uh, let's uh, try to match if it is work march to 21 to 22 40 time unix close user root mm, 21 20 it is uh, 21 22 okay 21 22 at 40 21 22 40 yeah this is the line okay so here we are right now in the client machine and i have opened it the file auth.log from which it is uh, replicating to the rcs log server now find out once again <coughs> so we have logs right now 21 23 let's see the timing here 21 23 43 21 23 43 and pam unix session open for user for root by share then so this is the same here so it is now replicating very easily <coughs> very easily sorry got some problem here okay now everything is clear and uh, likewise just go and add in other servers either it is a CentOS or a Red Hat or a Ubuntu or a Debian you have to write down the, in the same manner you have to add the client in the same manner like asterisk dot asterisk over everything at 192 give this replace this 192.160.56.103 it should be replaced with your rcs log server ip address and uh, 514 is a port so this practical is done okay and uh, that's it so if you have any questions if you uh, want to comment and ask any kind uh, any questions related related to this video and if you like it and if you want to subscribe just subscribe to my channel i have my own blog called sharachhetri.com you can find it <coughs> uh, just type in the url sharachhetri.com so this is my personal blog here and i write all the technical stuffs related to linux wordpress freebsd unix open source blah 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 Okay, so if you like my video, subscribe it, 
and there are something more i am planning to create the videos and uh, okay that's it thank you very much thanks for watching let me close the kazao kazu okay